Hello heroes and villains, welcome to Multiverse. Today we will take a look at the new on duty menu. A lot of you guys had questions about it. Before we get started, if somehow you don't like the new on duty menu for whatever reasons, if you go to the bottom to custom play, you can pretty much go back to the old on duty menu. And you'll notice, although also they've rearranged the, the tiers a bit uh, differently. So now we have a uh, tier one, tier two, tier three, tier four, tier five, and it goes up to tier six as opposed to tier 10 as it used to be. So they've rearranged things at least a little bit. And for the events tab, obviously you can see the stabilizer fragmentation mission is gone. And also in the one player mission, the vault is gone. So if we take a look at the on duty menu, basically they wanted to add something that was known as quick play to supposedly make it faster to be able to get into missions or to be able to get into groups. So we can see there's three different sections, Save the Universe, the latest episodes, and the Omnibus. Uh, from what I understand, Save, Save the Universe is something that will come back uh, from time to time. Basically what it does is that it takes some older content and it makes it into end game uh, level content. And uh, this month, it takes some Superman content. So basically for one month, we will get some Superman content with Save the Universe. And for the second month, we'll get some Batman content. And for the third month, we'll get some Wonder Woman content. So if we take a look at Save the Universe, so you'll see they've split it into solos, alerts, and raids. So let's go into solo. So the solo they've, they've chosen is a Science Spire. So from here, you can use replay badges to reset the mission if you need to. You can uh, change uh, the difficulty. So there's uh, an event version, normal or elite. Uh, the mission seems to be set to normal by default. So here you can see the event version has a combat rating of 100. The normal version, 327. And the Elite version, again, 327 hours also. And also with the new entity menu, you don't select anything. You just do start queue, then ready up, and then you'll you'll start your mission. If we take a look at the alert, so the alert is uh, the Phantom Zone. And for the raid, it is the Power Cord raid. And if we take a look at the latest episodes, basically this will be the last three episodes. So in this case, Episode 38 for Wonderverse, 39 for Long Live the Legion, and 40 for World of Flashpoint. I noticed, uh, so World of Flashpoint still gets Wink as no tokens, Long Live the Legion still gets Sword of Credits, and the Wonderverse DLC still gets Splinter Coins. So once we get Episode 42, Episode 38 will be replaced with Episode 42, and at that point, then the Splinter Coins will become uh, Source Marks. And again, if we take a look at each episode, episode 38. So for episode 38, we have uh, the Wonderverse Temple Source Power, a uh, Crypt of Penthesilithia, and Fractured God Sphere. If we take a look at episode 39, it's uh, the Legion Age Orientation and Legion Conversion of Unmaking. Uh, we didn't have that many missions with uh, the, the Legion DLC. And with episode 40, you can see we have the Flashpoint, the Queen's Row, the Royal War, Flashtastic Voyage, and flash to the future and then we have the omnibus i think this is pretty much the one thing that the, the devs uh, really wanted to, to to add and we're really pushing for so basically for the omnibus uh, at first you had the solo and then they had bunch all the other missions together it was a bit of a mess so on test uh, people have suggested uh, maybe we should have uh, more categories than that so over here we have uh, solos duos alerts and raids our first for solos uh, it makes it makes no sense uh, basically if we take a look into solo so basically you have all the solo missions here and you can see there's a lock here uh, i assume if i was a low level players some of the locks would be red so i wouldn't have access to those like you can see there's some combat training requirement so combat rating 30, combat rating 60, combat rating 100, 150, and combat rating 200. And also I've seen people trying to select a mission. You, you don't select anything. Like let's say, they, let's say we try to select the 8th precinct. Let's go to start queue. Ready up. And we're getting the East End Regal Hotel Challenge. So you don't select anything with this new on duty menu. You get one mission at random amongst all the solos. The same with the duos. The same with the alerts and the same for the raid so it gives you one mission at random the only restriction i assume is the combat rating if you don't have the appropriate combat rating to play a mission odds are you don't have access to it but for everything else it selects the mission at random for you basically the dev seems to think that it will make it faster to be able to get into a group and it will make it easier i assume for new players uh, but that remains to be seen 
right now i see a lot of confusion from pretty much everyone and for the solos i'm i'm, I'm still scratching my head there's no reason no reason at all to use this menu to cure for the solos there's no point for curing for a random solo if you want to play a solo you may as well just go to custom play and then select the solo mission you want to play Basically, the new on duty menu is supposed to make it easier and faster to get into groups. But when you're solo, you're just yourself. You're just one person in the group, so it doesn't doesn't matter. You, you don't need that. And even for other missions, uh, if you need uh, if you need to play a specific mission, you're going to use the old on duty menu. I, I suspect a lot of people are still going to use the old on duty menu as opposed to the new omnibus. But there is a daily mission with our friend Rip Hunter, which requires us to use the uh, on duty uh, the new on duty menu mission. So I suspect that's pretty much the only time that people will use that for solos. So in theory, it should make uh, getting into groups uh, easier and faster. And practice, uh, not exactly what's, what's happening. Maybe it's just a matter that people are not used to using that menu just yet. Uh, it could be. I guess we'll have to wait and see.